היי לכולם, ברוכים הבאים לסרטון נוסף שלי. Uh, אני רוצה לעדכן אתכם שוב ההתקדמות שלי בעברית. Uh, השבוע שעבר uh, דיברתי רק בעברית, אבל בסרטון של היום uh, אדבר בעיקר באנגלית. <laughs> oh my goodness. בעיקר באנגלית. Let's get straight to it, all right? Um, last week I spoke all in Hebrew. That's what I wanted to do um, as, a, as a challenge for myself. And I did make some errors. Um, I want to say thanks. I got some notes here. Let me pull them up. I want to say thanks to the user. I'm not sure if I'll say it right, but Prati Mishpacha. That might not even be your name. I'm sorry if I mispronounced the word. Uh, but thanks so much for uh, your comments. Uh, it really helps me to learn what I'm doing wrong. So one of the things that I said was... Uh, uh, I was talking about my family in uh, the last video, and I kept saying, you know, if, at the top of the video I said, Hamishpacha Shelanu, like our family. I said that a couple of times. So then when I got to the end of the video and I started talking about we have um, a dog, we have a 10 year old, stuff like that, I kept saying Yesh Shelanu instead of Yesh Lanu. So we have is Yesh Lanu, not Yesh Shelanu. <laughs> So I know that, but for some reason it was stuck in my brain to say Shilanu. So um, that's one thing. Um, also, at, at the end, when I was talking about my twins, I said the word two wrong. So apparently there's a, something called a construct state or something in, in Hebrew where the, the word can change if you're using it with another word. Or I don't even really know the rules about it. But I said, what I said was, Stein banot shalosh. Which I thought I was saying two, three-year-old girls. All right. So apparently, "shtaim" is incorrect. It's got to be "shte." "Shte bnot shalosh." Two, three-year-old girls. So I have twins. Uh, let's get right to Pimsler. All right, Pimsler. I'm on level 26. I, I've been through level 26 a couple of times. Um, last time I did an update video, I was at level. I think I finished level 16. Uh, so I was in level uh, 17. So I've advanced quite a bit. I uh, learned a lot, really a lot of words I'm learning. Uh, I'm, I'll try to give some examples of some things that I learned since then. Uh, some of the main things that I can think about. I learned how to talk about my family, which is why I decided to do last week's video. I thought it would be a good challenge. So I learned all the words for that. Um, I learned how to say boy, girl. Um, and what's interesting is I'm going through colloquial, you know. So some of the words I've learned in colloquial already are coming, coming up in Pimsleur. So it's been kind of helpful that I already know the words. Like one of them is Yeladim, for children. Like, yeah. Hayeladim Shali, my children. So I already learned. No, it's the other way around. The words I'm learning in Pimsleur are coming, coming up in, in colloquial, not the other way around. So anyway, that's been pretty helpful. I'm learning how to give directions or ask for directions, which I probably will never use. I'm not planning on ever going to Israel that I know of. I mean, it'd be kind of cool, but I don't have any plans that I know of to ever go to Israel, um, although I would like to. Um, so I'm learning directions like how to say, you know, go straight, take uh, take take a right, take a left. Straight is go straight is uh, yashar. So I could say tisa yashar if I'm talking to a man. Tisi yashar if I'm talking to a, a woman. And then I could say tisa um, yamina ve'achakach smola. <laughs> I said take a right and then a left. So I'm learning all those kinds of things. You can, I can ask for the road to Tel Aviv. Is a ze Hakvish la Tel Aviv. Zesham. It's over there. You know, stuff like that. Um, big and small. I'm learning some more adjectives. Uh, gadol, um, katan, big, small. And of course, the feminine versions. Gadola, katana. Learning those. I'm learning to say the word ulai. For maybe or perhaps. Um, I can. I can wait. I can do. I can say I can. You can. Uh, I can is ani yehol. I can wait, you know, stuff like that. And the last thing I learned was to talk about like how much something costs. Of course, um, how much does it cost? Uh, say if I'm talking about gas. Is, the, is, the, is gas expensive? How much does it cost? And I can respond, for example, three shekels per liter. So per liter. That's what I learned more recently, like in the last... The last lesson, you just simply add the letter Lamed to the beginning of it. So, Shalosh, is that right? Shalosh? No, it'd be Shlosha Shkalim Laliter. Laliter. 
שלושה שקלים לליטר. Three shekels per liter. Liter. Per liter. So I've learned that. And um, so I'm learning a lot of words in Pimsleur. It's really my priority right now because um, I'm going kind of slow and colloquial. I did finish chapter three and I've progressed past the first exercise in chapter four. So I have more words to learn. I'm having to go slow, like I said, because Pimsleur is my priority. I'm really trying to get the words. I'm used to speaking it and learning the vocabulary through Pimsleur. Another interesting thing is I was I was watching a video by Piece of Hebrew today. The channel I've talked about before is a Hebrew channel, and they make videos for beginners and intermediate and even advanced stuff. So uh, they were talking about something called Aliyah, which is a it's kind of a cool cool topic to hear about. I never heard of it before, but it's Jewish Aliyah, like for for people who are are Jews and want to go back or move or lo relocate back to Israel or from wherever they're at to move to Israel and live there. I may be getting this wrong, all right, but it's pretty cool. It's like a government uh, thing they have set up. Uh, it's just kind of cool to listen to, to hear about something like that. And um, But anyway, she was talking. She was talking kind of fast, and I was able to pick out some words, all right? But then she said, And I was reading the English subtitles, and uh, that means I saw the words I decided to do. I was like, wait a second, I should know how to say that. Did, she was speaking so fast, I didn't even, I just glanced right over it. So I hit back, and sure enough, she said, "Hechlatiti lasot." I decided to do. So I thought that was kind of cool that I was able to hear that because I just said "hechlatiti" in my last video, um, at the top of the video. I think I'm saying that right. "Hechlatiti." I decided. But anyway, uh, that's just a cool note on the side. Something else I want to mention is I found this. The Hobbit in Hebrew. It's the original Hebrew translation, so it's kind of old. It's from the 70s. But it was kind of hard to find. I couldn't find it on Amazon, and I was just Google, Google searching it, and it came across, came across it in abooks.com. There was one copy left, and it was only five bucks. So I'll show you a close-up here. But it's pretty cool. Um, I'm looking forward to read this. Um, I chose The Hobbit because I'm planning on this being one of the books that I try to read through in Hebrew. Of course, not now. <laughs> it's going to be quite some time. My goal is to maybe in 2022 try to start reading this. Now, I've read The Hobbit. A few times in English and I read it the full book in Esperanto so I'm just familiar with the story and I thought it'd be fun to read in Hebrew one day and the interesting about it interesting thing about it is it has all the like the vowels notated in there I guess it's called pointed Hebrew is what they call it it's got the Hebrew with all of the points and vowel marks all around the letters so I mean I guess that's good because I'll be able to know how to pronounce the words maybe it'll help me in looking the words up um, but anyway it's, it's gonna be quite a feat to <laughs> to get through this book. I can tell you that for sure. But I thought that was kind of cool that I found that old book. So that's a one crazy looking hobbit. That's for sure. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for today. Uh, just a quick update since last last week I didn't really talk about what I learned. Um, thanks for watching and I guess I'll see you in the next video. Bye.